Hakuna kitu kibaya kama dhabahu ikuje isettle kwa akili yako. Afadhali settle kwa finances. Lakini kisha settle kwa akili yako. That means even the decision to break that altar will not be there. Genesis 26 25. Someone was giving me a story. Alikuwa ananiambia, look at me. Look at my life. Hakuna mahali sijaenda. I've been even to America. Nimeisha America miaka kumi. I've come back. But I am poor even compared to the people I left in the village. Have you ever noticed that uko Nairobi lakini ukienda ushago kuna watu wako ushago na wako na pesa kuguliko. Uko Nairobi mali kuna pesa. You you go back to village. Then there is a kasambu eka na chimbianga watu mashimo. Cho. Anakukopesha fare. Utamurudishia ukirudi. Or you realize that when you want to go and sell kuku. Uko na kuku, uko na ngombe. Look at the kind of person mwenye nanga nanua. Ngombe yako. Anatoa pesa na kuhesabu and you look at this person comparing the person who is buying your cow and you. Nikamwambia an altar is an altar. Itakukula toki wa America. The solution is not to look for green pastures. The solution is to to deal with what is controlling you and what is controlling your life because you will keep looking for greener pastures and the altar will still mislead you and you will go to wrong directions watu wameolekea the wrong people kwa sababu ya altars the altar has to direct you get married this person and if they put these two people together between this and this choose one ata choose a and you're looking at a unaangalia a ana issue Unaangalia eh hawezi hichi pamoja. Unaangalia eh mpaka anamwambia sikupendi. But the lady will say I want A. Then B will be there saying I love you, I want to stay with you. I want you to be my queen. But the lady will say no, I don't want B. I want A. Because an altar. Then after you enter there you, you keep regretting. Now B was there. Mbona niliolekea A? Because yeye ndangi sana. Atunasema si kujua si ati hukujua an altar covered your eyes nisome ni mwanzo msa blango 26 mstari 25 inasema nini akajenga madhabahu huko ehe uh-huh. akaliitia jina la Bwana ehe uh-huh. akapiga hema yake huko ehe uh-huh. na watumwa wa Isaka wakachimba kisima huko okay fika tu hapo now nilikuwa nawaambia every person in the in the bible mwenye alikuwa ana after either the floods ama chochote wanajenga madhabahu sasa huyu anataka kujenga hema anataka kujenga nyumba anataka kuishi because wakati huo ukisikia mtu anasema akajenga hema ina maana akajenga nyumba so before they build the houses they build altars when god could promise them awambie kesho nitafanya kitu fulani kabla hiyo kitu itokee anajenga madhabahu Exodus Now I don't want you to open the specific verse I want you to go and read the whole of Exodus Safari ya wana wa Israel iliwezekana kwa sababu kabla watoke usiku Mungu aliwaambia kila nyumba ya Muislaeli ijenge madhabahu Chinja smear the blood at the doorpost and they gave them instructions you'll be eating and living bread whatever this and this then you do it while standing they had to prepare an altar while standing because that altar haikuwa ya kukaa ilikuwa ni kufanya nini ni ya kuondoka now Pharaoh kept on going and he wanted to bring them back like one times two times but they could go zile miracles ambazo zilizo zikifanyika kila siku it is because of an altar ambayo walijenga before waende waanze safari so they had an altar last sunday nimezungumza how to bring down altars but today i want to teach you how to raise I, I let me tell you even if i'll pick a hundred people and put them on a line and i begin to prophesy to them and i begin to say god is saying god is saying and if i don't deal with the altars do you know some prophets and some men of god who were meta watu wachawi see at walikuwa wrong because they saw an altar in your life of your aunt na wakauliza aunt yako who is so and so there is something 
Then because haku malizia, you, you went on looking for your aunt as a witch. But it's an altar that, that is being there. So a man of God haku went to an excel ya kuangalia, what altar is this that is happening with this aunt? So unangalia, huyu mtumishu wa mungu anasema, alikuwaenda kuseto kukajengwa hema. Na kapla ya hema kukajengwa madhabau. Mimi nimekuwa nikiangalia hii ishu ya madhabau kabisa. It is one thing that had to fight kwa igno. Najua wa kristo hawapendi process. Wa kristo wanatakanga kitu ifanyike mara moja hivi. Because not everything is solved by prayer. Si kila kitu na solution na nini? With prayer. Naman alipoenda kwa Elijah, Elijah akamwambia hivi because alijua hii ugonjwa yake hii ni madhabau. Akamwambia nenda ukaoge mara ngapi? There was there was a process. Naman alisema nini? Nilifikiria huyo mtu atanuwekea mkono, aseme kwa jina la Yesu. And that is what most Christians expect. When you come here you tell me I have marriage issues and I tell you no now you have to come I teach you about marriage utaniambia mwende right man of god like like trust me kuna watu wako hapa ni advertise mkutano wa mama on saturday hiyo mkutano inaenda kuponya ndoa zenye ziko zenye zitakuja na zenye zilikuweko itaponya but the ladies here who will never come wata hawa watakuja jumamosi watakuja jumaine na kile kitaona juma hiyo ni kukuja niombe ndoa zao tena. Are you getting it? If I prayed for it, I prayed again and I'm praying again. We have to change the medication. Those are same but issue. Some of you issues zenu ni kidogo sana ambazo uki understand how to deal with it. Hata hutaenda mbali. Uta deal nayo tu na mambo itakuwa sawa. But we ignore things of the spirit. I said every time you see a pattern, there is an altar. Every time you see a pattern there is an altar na nikasema hivi wazazi wetu wapo wazazi wetu walifanya vitu ambavyo mpaka wa leo vinafungua portals katika maisha yetu portals is a place is a special place where an open end maybe for communication or for spiritual activity imefanyika it is a portal There are portals on this earth which are not altars but there are portals on this earth. When I say portals, P O R T O L. There are portals on this earth. Ambazo ukiwa unatembea tu hivi kibahati mbaya uingie hapo. Kibahati mbaya uingie. It is a portal. A good example ukiangalia mahali penye Abraham anafanyia anajenga madhabau, it is the same same place. It became a portal. Then Jacob comes after many years now Jacob is here again the grandson and alala happen then angels the bible says aliona malaika wakipanda wakishuka inamaanisha after Abraham kujenga hiyo madhabau it became a portal activities that kero zikaanza kufanyika hapo so there are places i'm telling you activities that kero zinaendelea have you ever seen mtu anaingia kwa church kama hii on monday No preacher is preaching, no praise and worship, no prayer, nothing. Na anakuja anaala kwa hiyo madhabahu na anaambia Mungu hata haombi. Anakuja ana roll kwa hiyo madhabahu na anaenda. Na after two days anapata kazi. After two days anapata miracle. Because there are activities ambazo zishafanyika hapa as a portal. Try today and begin to walk everywhere ukiambia mtu nataka shamba nikodeshe niweke kanisa. They will not give you most of them how to get here because they know hakuna kitu kibaya kama ku invite kanisa kwa shamba yako aidha uwapatie bure but if you tell them i want to lease you na wakodesha tu muende mjenga alafu mtaenda trust me hata kama itaisha miaka 70 that place it is only a church that can be that place hata kama hao watakuja watoke waende a church must be there unaweza kuwa unaona hii madhabahu zenye iko hivi ukiwa ukiwa physically What you can see is flowers, chuma and red carpet. But mtu mwenye kwa kiro akifika hapa ataona angels ascending and descending. Akikuja hapa akijua ni altar, atajua this this place is not an ordinary place. That is why kuna watu unasikia ngamtu anakwambia niliingia kwa hiyo church nikasikia tu niko home. Because huyo mtu ako so much connected na mambo ya kiro. Akifika tu hivi anakuwa connected na spiritual things that happen hapa. 
na kuna mwingine ako so much connected na madhabahu ya kinini akifika hawezi kaa hapa because what is on this altar haiwezi muruhusu akae kwa ibada because what is happening in their spirituality and what is happening here is totally different bwana yesu asifiwe sana i want to teach you how to raise altars and how to raise portals in the spirit wapo watu tunawajua wako ushago watoto wao hawa struggle their children don't struggle their children they don't struggle hawakusoma lakini hawa struggle hawana kazi lakini they are not struggling hawana chochote lakini they are not struggling it is because kuna kamama kalikuwa huko kashoshoka na unajua hako kaisimama na kakatengeneza hayo mota mota hayo inasema kwa hii bomba watu hawatawai nangana are you getting it now that is why today we are going to raise altars altars ambayo unasema kwamba hakuna kukuba maskini let me let me try to explain to you please kuna familia ambazo watoto wanajaribu hata wengine wako hapa hakuna kitu hujawahi fanya kama ni kwenda Saudi hata ulienda ukarudi ukasikia Saudi wanalipa vizuri ukaenda Saudi ukarudi ukafika Kenya ulipofika Saudi ukasema i wish ingekuwa Kenya ukakuja Kenya ukasikia sasa IPZ wanalipa vizuri ukaingia IPZ hakuna mahali haujaenda lakini kwa sababu kuna altar ambayo ilishiwa kitano if you are a first born listen to me nisikize kama wewe ni first born kama wewe ni mtoto wa kwanza penu nisikize kama wewe ni mtoto wa kwanza first born alikufa wewe ndio umebaki kama first born nisikize kama wewe ni wa kwanza kujenga nyumba nzuri kwenu nisikize kama wewe ni wa kwanza kushika pesa ambayo hakuna mtu anawahi kushika kwenu nisikize kama wewe ni wa kwanza kusoma penu nisikize if you are the first one to get a good job in your family listen to me madhabahu ya ukoo inachukia watu kama hao ukianza kuinuka bibi to fight you first point why do you think watu wenye wanategemea kwa familia ndio wanakufa why do you think wa mama na huyu ndiye anatulinda huyu kuna watu wapo hapa wamekuwa target ya shetani maana hao ndio wanategemea kwao maana hao ni wapenda kufanya kitu maana hao ndio wanaangalia wanaweza ukoo kwa njia yao kama ito to some right here kama wewe unajua utakuwa kwanza kufanya kitu kwa mama yenu usifanye kitu kinga ujinga tafute mk kuyafanya na babu akakuja akakufa hamkujua by good luck baba yake akakuja akakuwa mwalimu hadi ka, ka umaskini kakaondoka sasa unafikiri hata umaskini liondoka baba alikuwa lakini watoto wote wameanza kungangana kumbe madhabo ambayo babu aliweka ya kungangana bado iko na ndio maana hata ukienda kwa mjembe kujimba huko wewe ndio anambia lima mitaro fulani alete mawe fulani alete simiti wewe wewe lima mitaro bwana wewe lima mitaro lima mitaro Unalima. Unaona uko na kifua? <laughs> niko na nguvu. Lima ongeza. Niko na nguvu. Ongeza. Niko na nguvu. Ongeza. Ni madhabahu ina kukula. Haufai kupitia hayo maisha. Unafanya kazi kama ndofu. Unakula kama siafu. Unakula kama mende. Alafu tuko tu hapo Kristo. Unasema tu ameni tendea mema. Nasema wa yuta. Ameni tendea mema. Mema what what mema we talking about? Wakati mtu amekaa kwa baa, anakunywa anakunywa pombe, ana, analewa, ana, anafanya mambo mbaya mbaya, anaua watu, alafu anakuwa mtu fulani, alafu anakuwa na pesa. Lakini wewe kwa sababu kuna madhabahu haujaikundua, licha ya kukaa kwa nisabu na kale kama haujielewi. Imekaa ni kama Mungu wetu hana nguvu, imekaa ni kama ni Mungu hatuelewi, ni Mungu mungu tunaomba. I refuse to be poor in the name of Jesus Christ. They are holders. At at lazima tu mtu angangane kweli. I looked at our grandfathers who were going to cut a miwa. Unaona Ken Carter's wewe haujui Ken Carter's. Natoa mifano hii ndio uangalie kama kuna kitu kama hiyo kwenu. Unitafute mapema. Ken Carter saa nane ameamka na panga ya nzoya. Wewe ujui kuna panga inaitwa panga ya nzoya. Wangapi unajua panga ya nzoya? Kama unajua. Iko na kitu, unaona? Iko na kitu pale nyuma kana kai hivi. Ukipitisha hivi unapitisha juu. Huyo mtu akikata miwa in the next 10 minutes amekata line moja kwa kumisho anakata malise anaambiwa beba anabeba yeye ni komeko unajua komeko kile kinaweka kwa tractor anabeba anapanga steak steak ya kwanza 
anafunga saa ine usiku. Alafu uniambie huyo mtu ana bidii. You, you want to tell me huyo mtu ana bidii? Mtu mwenye ameamka saa nani? Alafu analipa 150. Huyo mtu ameamka saa nani? Can we talk please people of God? Can we talk so that we can deal with these altars? Leo mniruhusu kwa sababu nitakuwa nahubiri watu wakilia machozi. Na nikimaliza nataka kwenda kupigana madhabahu physically hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Acha nafanya hiyo yote. Alafu maisha inaisha. Alafu unapata mtu kama huyo anafanya hiyo yote lakini akona bibi. Tell me your grandfather alikuwa na six wives. Alikuwa anawalisha. Ilibidi wenyewe waende kujitafutia. Watoto hawendi shule, unaenda kushunga ngombe. Ukiambiwa ni shule ama siwezi enda shule. Naenda kushunga ngombe. Alafu wewe umekuja umeoleka haujui ni hiyo. Wewe uko na bwana mmoja lakini wewe ndio una provide. Kumbe nyanya yake alikuwa ana provide yake kwa babu yake. Babu alikuwa anakuja, hajui chakula imetoka wapi, hajui hajui umetafuta namna gani, anakuambia leta chakula, unaenda chakula hapo. Sasa wewe umekuja, babu alikufa kitambo, lakini mzee wako bado ameanza the same same way. Mimi ndio provider wa nyumba. Alafu anaambianga watu, mimi ndio mimi ndio baba na mama wa hii nyumba. Wewe sio baba na mama, wewe ndio madhabahu ya hiyo nyumba. I wish watu wangenielewa. I wish watu wangekaasirika hapa. Mimi nataka leo watu wakaasirike tupike madhabahu. Nataka watu wakaasirike utajirike upone. Because hakuna kwa kanisani ati watu waenje utucheke yanga tuwaambianga wa Kristo hamna kitu. Hamna kitu. Huyo Mungu wenu ako wapi? Where is your God? <laughs> ah, the mercy of God. The mercy of God. Elijah anatoroka, anatoroka naman. Akutoka kila mtu akawaambia nataka ijulikane kwamba Mungu bring on those waganga soite lakini hakufanya peupe peupe hakufanya aliwaambia lazima tujenge madhabahu si kama unanielewa hauwezi ku disapprove mtu wa dunia bila madhabahu i'm telling you you must learn how to construct an altar alafu ndio na hawa aliwaambia waleta the 450 lakini kwanza chimba mferenchi kwanza weka kuni kwanza kata ngome pande miwili weka hapo lazima tufanye madhabahu lazima tufanye madhabahu alipotengeneza madhabahu hakustrago hakuomba sana alinua tu mikono akasema wewe ni Mungu wewe ni moto unao chimbo haya maombi leo tutafanye madhabahu na tuambie Mungu wewe ni moto unao chimbo haya maombi yetu leo Listen mimi huwa inaniuma wakati naona mtu ni muaminifu kanisani huyo mtu anatoa sadaka anatoa fungu la kumi huyo mtu yeye kanisani hakosi alafu bado huyo mtu ni maskini it pains me umetembea kutoka kesha ili uje kanisani muombe Mungu alafu toke kanisani kama hakuna Mungu tena kwa hii dunia it pains me wengine mmetoka matakos wengine mmetoka hata western mmekuja kusikia neno la Mungu mmekuja kusikia huyo Mungu swali langu ni je huyo Mungu ako wapi Amseli nyuma dhabao inaweza ikakukula. Si lazima ikuwe inaonekana. As much as imeunda pattern. As much as imeunda pattern. As much as grandfather alingangana, baba yako akangangana. Hebu angalia baba yako alikuwa ameshinda na makesi na maskando. Ndiye alikuwa mwalimu lakini alikuwa ameshinda na makesi na maskando. Ndiye alikuwa askari lakini alikuwa ameshinda na makesi na maskando. Wewe umeanza ukienda kambuni unaambiwa umeipa simu. Umeipa pesa. Umeipa kitu fulani acha gasi. Kama zinakufata tu. Hauwezi angalia nyuma. Hii consistency inatoka wapi? Where is this consistency coming from? Inua mikono yako ujisema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nisaidie. Ninue madhabahu. Leo. 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 One day niliuliza Mungu if I raise an altar, if I raise an altar, what can I do? Mungu akaniambia you can raise all altars. But there is one powerful altar that I want you to raise and it is called the altar of prayer. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Kuna kitu kinaitwa madhabahu ya maombi. I said if something happens today, it happens tomorrow, it happens the next day, it becomes a pattern. And as much as it becomes a pattern, it creates an altar. If I pray today, I pray tomorrow, I pray the other day, what am I doing? I am making an altar of prayer. So I raise an altar of prayer. You can never even talk against me even in secret. My altar will fight you. Hata nijue ama sijui, my altar will fight you. You can never plan evil things against me. My altar will come for you. But because I have raised a prophetic altar of prayer. 
their lives, their decisions, and their situations we are not, not supposed to go through. Trust me. Trust me. Kuna watu wako hapa hata ukiangalia spiritually hivi, unaangalia huyu mtu anafaa tu kuwa tajiri. Unaona anga unapikiwa simu, kila siku naambiwa nikopeshe 1500, na hauna. Nikopeshe 2020. Unaanza kusema sasa huyu mtu anajua sina pesa, mbona ananikopa? Si ati kwa sababu anakukopa. Kwa sababu ota yako ya, ya kweli ya utajiri inaonyesha wewe una pesa. Lakini bila haujafungua hiyo ota yanza kufanya kazi. Sasa wapo nakwambia na nikopesha hata milioni moja. Unasema sina pesa, anajua sina pesa, mbona ananiomba? Si issue nambona anakuomba. Huyo mtu ako spiritual, kombea tena wewe. Ukisikia mtu anakwambia nikopeshe elfu moja In other words, aka anakwambia wewe unaweza pata elfu moja sahihi ukitaka. Trust me. Kwanza leo anybody comes to you akwambie naomba unipatie loan. Uwe nayo ama hauna. Jiulize swali mbona ameniambia hiyo pesa? Kwani anajua ninayo? Na kama sina, mbona amesema hivyo? There is a communication ya mungu anakupatia. Anakwambia wewe wacha kulala, wacha kulala. Unaweza raise 1 million, unaweza raise 2 million, unaweza raise 3 million. As much as unakuja mtu anakwambia niko peshe. Can I tell you something? Madhabahu yananena. Madhabahu huwa yananena. Madhabahu huwa yananena. Madhabahu huwa yananena. Iwe ni ya shetani ama iwe ni ya Mungu kuna kitu itaongea. Madhabahu ya Mungu inaongea mambo mazuri. Madhabahu ya shetani inanena lakini inanena mambo mabaya. Ukiona mambo yanajitokea kuna kitu inanena hiyo mambo. Whatever altar in your family tume entertain madhabau in the name of what tuliyowapenda shetani ni mwerevu anajua mzee wako amekufa ulikuwa unampenda sana eh anakuletea huyo huyo he anaenda analeta disappointment in the sura ya mzee wako anakuletea hapo wewe unasema gai huyo ni baba joni akiwa alikuwa na smile venye alikuwa anafanya hivi ni baba joni huyo sio baba joni ni baba alta baba madabao <laughs> imekuja kukukula wa kristo we are going to be very sensitive in the spirit no matter how you love someone if that person dies today your relationship is over uhusiano wake na mungu si na wewe tena unaambianga mungu aweke roho yake mahali pema pema huko kwako aweke kwako mahali pema peponi peponi haimaanishi mahali kuna mapepo peponi inamaanisha the spiritual world jina pepo haimaanishi it's like a demon pepo ni spirit ambayo anything any spirit that cannot be seen ni pepo so ukisikia mtu anasema mapepo yanamsumbua ni spirit of utofauti kwa kwake hauwezi kuziona physically unaweza ziona spiritual ino mikono yangu juu sema kwa jina la Yesu kila madhabahu kwa familia yetu kwa maisha yangu inanisumbua ivunjike ivunjike wengine mmeraziwa na good parents wengine mgaraziwa na bad parents and that is why naambianga watu hivi ukiona hauwezi kuishi na mtoto wa mtu kama wako achana na yeye Nirudie. Ukiona hauwezi kuishi na mtoto wa mtu kama wako wachana na yeye. Umdiscipline kama wako, umchape kama wako na uishi na yeye kama wako. Kwa sababu ile alta ambayo utapanda utakuja uondoke Nyinyi wengine mnakaa hapa Unaangaikanga Nairobi unateseka kila kona kwa sababu baba yako na mama yako walikuwa wanaishi na mtoto wa ndugu yao na walimfanyia mambo mabaya Na hata wewe unajua Alifukuzwa akilia tu kiona ndio anafukuzwa you know na unaulizanga mama why am i paying all through this because it's an altar imejengwa hapo 
ukiishi na mtoto na ufanye mambo mabaya yenye unaweza mfanyia na una watoto wako unajua na kwangu unachukua tu hiyo mbegu unapanda kwa wako hata kama hatateseka akiwa mtoto akizeeka atateseka akienda kwa bwana bwana atamtesa as an altar i'm now talking like a father here now some of you ninyi mnaumia vitu wa Mungu changia ha Mungu changia because ulikuwa naambiwa tu kuja fulani kuja kaa hapa na wanaambia hao makazini zenu enda 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 kwa mleta maji Neo naambiwa baba kaa hapa ukule <laughs> Neo na kaa unakula na hao wanaenda kwa shamba kwenda kulima Wanaambiwa enda chonga ngombe make sure hizo ngombe zimeshiba enda ndio mchunge ngombe then wewe unaambiwa kuja ukae hapa Wengine wengine wako hapa hata hata si hadi muliteswa ulikaa kwa shangazi ukakaa kwa mjomba anakukozoa anakutesa Akikupea kazi kidogo anakutesa. Wengine mko hapa. Hata haujawahi rudi kwa shangazi yako, hata kwa mjomba wako umwambie asante. Wakati kila mtu alikuwa amenikataa, ulinichukua. Wakati kila mtu alikuwa amesema sitasoma, ulinisomesha. Kazi yako ni kutembea kwa masuko na mbia watu. Alitesa, I will never forget. Alitesa, utateseka, you will never forget. Go back to your uncle and your auntie and tell them thank you. And you look at mtu anajasema I'm trying to make the best. Hata wengine the more anakukosoa unasema nateseka tu bado. Kuna madhabao inawakula watu mpaka hawezi fanya chochote. And let me tell you something. The realm of the spirit is available to assist. Waje nikusaidie vizuri. Ulimwengu wa kiroho uko ukusaidia wewe. Ulimwengu wa kiroho unangojea an authorization from your altar. It's like you have a phone but it has no SIM card. So this phone cannot do anything. You can never make phone calls until you put there a SIM card. SIM card in authorize ukijaribu kutafuta mali bila backup ya roho utaumia utagira utainua mikono useme i have tried my best ukijaribu kuhubiri bila backup ya roho mwanangu utagira utasema nimejaribu yangu yote can i say it again ulimwengu wa kiroho uko ukusaidie wewe the spiritual realm is there to assist you Sasa you are trying to build a house without the backup of the only thing you want is money Nataka pesa nijenge nyumba Nataka pesa nimalizie nyumba Nataka pesa Can you seek the help of the spiritual realm Utajenga na siku moja Watafute hawa watu wamejenga majumba kubwa kubwa watakwambia wakianza hata hawakuwa na pesa But if they sought for the spiritual backup inaenda haraka sana. Wacha kutafuta kwanza loan ujenge nyumba, tafuta backup ya kiroho. The spiritual realm, sikize ni viongozi. Ulimwengu wa kiroho uko kupatie backup. Hauwezi sustain ndoa kama madhabahu inapinga ndoa. Huwezi Spiritual realm is there to help you support the backup. Give backup to your marriage. You will keep on blaming men and women. Utasema huyu ni mbaya, waje nitafute mwingine. Huyu ni mbaya, waje nitafute mwingine. Watakuwa wabaya karibu wote. Lakini ukitafuta spiritual backup, mimi najua if you raise an altar ya marriage That is what hiyo ndio nitakuwa nafanya kwa mosta wa mama hapa. Sasa kama siyawaambia, wa mama tutakuwa tuna raise madhabahu ya ndoa. Uki raise madhabahu ya ndoa. I'm telling you. Dagatu. Listen, sikiseni vizuri kabisa. Tumefika wakati wa kuonyesha shetani kwamba Mungu yupo. Elijah alisema ijulikane yuko. 
na hakusema tuna mdomo madhabahu iko hapo hapo ijulikane yuko wewe unakuja kanisani kila siku mpaka watu wa plot wanakuambia anga huna unaombanga mungu mgani wewe wewe kila siku umefunga kitambaa unaenda kanisani ni mungu mgani unaombanga wewe unakuja kutukopa pesa unakuja kutukopa ikifika kwa atopeka lakini nisaidie mama brani nisaidie ni ambili tu nitarudisha endo mambo ikifika ndako ikifika mande bwana ila sio mama brani enda kanisani eh unamuacha ndani ya duka unakuja kanisani unarudi